Welcome to class soulmates. So this pattern is from our previous um, class, right? So we're going to be making this into a full trouser, not a short. So I showed us that we can also make it a short, which is why we have this short pattern. So what we're going to do on this pattern here, we're going to add half an inch on the inseam, half an inch for seam allowance. Okay, so once you add the half an inch, we're going to connect to the knee area. This is the front. We're stopping at the knee right now before extending to the full length of the trouser that we want to make. Okay, so I'll take my ruler and connect them together according to how the lines go. So on the other side, I'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance, not half an inch. You can actually do half an inch if you're sure you can manage half an inch, but in case the person needs some adjustments or adds up, one inch is okay to adjust it a bit. Okay, so one inch, half an inch. Now from the top, the waistline, we're going to measure to the full length of the trouser that we want. Once you get your full length, you'll add 2 inches for folding allowance, right? Wherever you want the trouser to stop, that is where it's going to stop. So once we mark um, excuse me, where it is going to stop, I'm going to connect the midline. Remember how we cut the midline from the previous pattern making class? And we connect it to the length of the trouser and mark like so so with the same thing we did on the knee parts we're going to measure our round ankle that is where we want the trouser to stop we'll measure around ankle and divide it by four right so you measure and divide by four and i told us why we have to divide by four so if you've not seen this pattern, please watch the video before this so that you'll be able to follow along. So once you divide by four and mark, add half an inch for the seam allowance and add one inch to the other side for the side seam allowance and then connect the lines with a straight rule like so. This is where you need a pencil trouser. Okay, this is where you need a pencil trouser. If you don't need a pencil trouser, you can just take it straight down from the knee and that is also good. So we're measuring everything that we have and that is it. So the next we're going to do is to cut and cut and cut and then we'll move over to the back side of it like always if you've not subscribed to this channel please kindly do so give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up subscribe share it and you will enjoy being here with us okay and if you are a returning subscriber i know some of us are returning subscribers thank you so much for being here you can see how good looking our trouser is so I'll place on the back side. Now there's something we have to do on the back side. <coughs> that is if you made a short pattern like this. Okay, so once we have placed, as usual, we're going to get the length of the trouser that we want and connect the midpoint, the center line, to meet the length of the trouser. Now we're going to also divide our ankle into four. And the mark so once you divide into four and mark you're going to add half an inch on both sides remember we added half an inch on the side of the back after cutting the front so we add the same half an inch before adding our seam allowance one inch on the side seam and half inch on the end seam okay and then we cut it the same way we cut the front part of it I hope that is clear we added extra half an inch to the back before adding our seam allowance and this is the two 
together you can see that the sides are matching up like so to this end is matching up put it this way to this end is matching up so if anybody tells you that the two does not match up however it depends on how you decide to draft it all right so because of this trouser is not so strong i added lining to it before joining the front together i also did the same for the back now it is time to fix our side pocket this side pocket measures 12 by 12 right if the person is big you can do 13 by 13 this is the back side i also added lining before joining so that the material does not tear easily it's not a strong ankara fabric okay so we'll keep the back aside and then move over to fixing our side pockets very easy method of fixing side pockets be patient and you will learn so from the side i'm going to mark two inches i'll mark two inches and i'll mark the length of seven inches so i'll get my pattern and place it to the edge like this okay so i'll pin the two of them together remember i marked two inches and seven inches so I'll connect that line together from the two inches to the seven inches i'll join them together like so just watch and you see it so once you join together this is the next thing that you're going to do i just want to show us what we are going to do we're going to top stitch and place it over this way making sure it uh, relaxes on the two inches right and then touches on the seven inches with a little bit of allowance on it the video is quite explanatory and i believe you're getting something from it so we're going to take it one step after another and what i'm going to do now is to join it first and then come back and show us how or the next thing that we're going to do Now on the inside, don't forget to join it this way because if you don't, it's going to be open and whatever you put inside is going to fall away. So first off, I'm just going to join this way and then come back. Now after joining it, I've done the top stitch. I believe we know how to top stitch, so I'll fold it over this way. Like so. Okay, so I'll place this waist on the two inches remember we have one inch seam allowance so we're going to sew one inch away after placing on the two inches and at this point i'll bring out a little by the hip side so that we don't join the pocket together so i'll mark my one inch and continue the sewing when i place it on the back side I hope this is making sense. Don't forget to join this part. Close it up. And this is how our pocket is going to look. The same applies. Okay. So this is our pocket. Now the next thing to do is to join front and back together by the sides and the inseam. You can see how it is. After joining, we're going to put fix our zip by the side. We are fixing our zip by the side and I believe we know how to fix a zip and I've fixed it using our seam allowance. No extra addition. Okay, so once that is done, the next step is to join our band. The band of one inch, what I've cut is three inches, folded half an inch on both sides, right? And then the other will be folded into two. So this is what I'm going to do. You join it using half an inch. And then fold it over the remaining half an inch will be to cover it 
but we're still going to add our elastic at the back so that it helps it relax properly and fitted at the waist area because this band is cut on straight like it is straight so if you don't add the band it's going to keep but the band will help it not to keep okay so i'm just going to join like so i've joined it ironed it but not covered it this is how it is so i'll place the band i'll measure the length i want the band to be fixed and i'll minus three inches from that length assuming i measured eight inches from the midpoint i'm going to minus three inches so that when i draw it to the point where i want to sew it it will drag the waistline okay depending on wherever you want it to start you can start from the um that the two dots together or you start from the side seam together however you want to snatch it you minus three inches or four inches from it and join it i hope this is making sense so i'm just going to cut the length of the band the elastic hold it from one edge then drag it and hold it to the other end before closing up the band and as i'm sewing i'll be dragging it to where i want it to be so this is the outcome thank you